This is the longest license in the Gran Turismo franchise. So get ready, because in this video, I'll show you how to gold all 16 license tests for the S license. And if one of these tests helped you, be sure to like and subscribe. And let me know down in the comments which one I was able to help you with. Now let's move on to the first test. Starting S1, get to the left to approach the first turn. Turn in to hit the end of this shadow and break in the center of the track. Don't worry about hitting the first apex, and instead, focus on the next. Exit as straight as possible to reduce the time in TCS, and continue down the long straight, getting on the right side before the next turn. Break and turn just before the track intersection, and aim to exit wide for a straighter approach on the following turn. Use up as much of the track on exit as possible before getting back to the left while heading down this straight. Turn in at the 50 board and break shortly after. Aim for a late apex to carry on properly into the next section. Stay flat out here by taking an out-in-out approach and swing to the right before the left-hander. Turn in at the 50 board and break halfway between the marker and the apex. Hug the inside to keep left on exit before swinging back inside with some throttle control to stay fast through the right-hander. While on the right side of the track, break and turn halfway between the 50 board and the apex. Power out halfway through the turn for the exit, and get on the left down the straight. This time, you'll turn in at the 50 board and break halfway between the marker and the apex. Don't get on the power till after the halfway point, and make your way down the hill on the left. Break before the 50 board and gently cross over to make the turn. Power out wide before swinging in quickly to the right and staying flat out until the chicane. Turn in to hit the apex before gently braking when all the grass is out of sight. Break and turn in halfway between turns to maintain momentum, powering out wide here to stay fast as you push down the final straight to the finish. Ninety percent the throttle starting off the line in S2 and make your way down the narrow streets until the first proper right-hander. Turn in when the track opens up here, and apply minimal brakes through the turn to exit right. Turn in after passing the shadow, and brake shortly after to make both apexes. Swing down the left-hander to stay left on exit. Turn in to hit the next apex, and brake right after reaching the banner. Put the power down through the curve, before braking in the center to place the car wide for the next turn. Try to get as large of a turning circle through the tight right turn before swinging out wide on the left. Now take the next turn with gentle steering to maximize momentum before heading up the hill and the narrow streets. Brake as the track changes textures and trail brake through the left turns. Get back on the power when it's safe and get on your right. Brake before passing this door and keep close to the inside through the winding street section. Upshift down the right-hander for better rotation, and make your way down the hill. Break after passing the block-shaped shadow, and cut the approaching turn. Avoid contact with the barrier, and downshift up the hill. Break after passing the castral sign above, and take a double apex approach through the turn. Watch for wheel spin when powering out wide, and slowly make your way up the narrow streets one last time. Exit wide at the leveled off left turn, before aiming for the inside. Break at the jutted out shadow and carefully swing into the turn while maintaining as much speed as possible. Then power up the hill until you cross the checkered line. Get on the left for S3 and turn in for an early apex. Break at the entrance of the tunnel and aim to take a U-shaped double apex line through the turn. Approach the next turn as wide as possible, before swinging back in and braking to exit narrow for the next turn. Brake after the overpass, and power out early to let the downforce give the car better rotation through the turn. Approach the S-bend wide, before gently turning in with minimal brakes on entry, to put the power down halfway through. Exit wide, and brake before this barrier. Trail brake through the next turn, and power out when aiming at the turn after. Exit and stay wide heading to the hairpin. Break in between these two arrow signs. Gently turn in and power out halfway while keeping close before the next turn. Avoid the apex 
and place yourself here, and turn in while gently braking. The wall tap isn't necessary to gold, so don't try to imitate that. Stick to the left before turning and braking when reaching this gantry. Brake until this apex, and aim to hit the next. Now brake at this apex for the penultimate turn, and power out wide. Swing in late, then trail brake, to eventually stay flat out up the turn, before heading down the final stretch and completing the test. Ninety percent the throttle starting S4, and get to the left before the first hairpin. Break at the light post in the middle of the rose bush, and break as straight as possible before turning in to power slide on entry. Maintain forward momentum while sliding, and slowly gain traction on exit. Push through the straight and get to the right side over the curb. Break just after passing this pole, and repeat the same entry method as before. Break straight, swing out the rear, and slowly regain grip while maintaining forward momentum on exit. You'll utilize this same technique going up the hill, breaking after this shadow for the next turn. When approaching the last hairpin, hit the right hand apex before turning in short of the crest, and break just before the lift. Continue braking after landing, and repeat the same technique for the hairpin. Exit as close to the left as possible, before turning in to hit a double apex up the long right hander. Brake gently while in the turn to gradually increase rotation and find the angle you need for your exit. Aim for late apexes through the S's at the top of the track. Use gentle braking to maintain traction and trail brake through the turns. Set up for the next long right hander on the left. Brake when you reach this shadow and take a double apex approach for the turn. My line was compromised after bumping the walls, but there's a lot of time to waste for this test, so it's not much of an issue. Head down the hill and aim to take a narrow line through the last bend before entering the hairpin. Avoid spinning out on entry and exit as wide as you can afterwards. Get back on the left and use mild braking to glide through the S-bend, hitting late apexes here. On exit, set up to stay straight into the hairpin and brake at the start of this shadow. Use the initial turning technique from the beginning of this test. Get on the right and brake at the yellow awning. Use the e-brake on entry to rotate as fast as possible and power out in first. Do the same thing at the Michelin banner for the last proper turn. Now just drive down the hill and finish the test. For S5, slowly approach the inside of the left curve and hug the barrier on exit. Brake after passing the second crosswalk and turn in when you reach the shadow of the bridge. Enter deep into the turn and lift for maximum rotation. The 4GT has terrible understeer on exit, so don't get back on the power until you're parallel halfway through the turn. Brake after passing this pillar past the 50 meter board and turn in to barely avoid the curb. Head up the steep hill, getting on the left before the first jump to avoid risking a nasty spin. Brake after crossing the surface change following the last jump, and turn in after passing the 50 meter board. Exit wide and carry on to the next section. Take the bend in the center of the track and brake after reaching the 50 meter board. Try to slip out a little before powering out at the apex of the turn. Get on the curb to take a wider line into the next turn and brake when getting off it. Avoid the next apex and aim to hit the next, exiting wide before the approaching tight turn. Brake at the start of the chevron barrier and lift off while turning to maximize rotation. Exit wide and swing to the left down the first straight on the back stretch. Gently turn in to hit the apex with minimum speed loss and get back on the left. Brake at the 100 meter board while gently turning in. Avoid sliding out and exit wide to approach the bus stop chicane. Avoid the curbs here to maintain as much stability while turning and exit wide again. For the next chicane, aim to slightly cut the last apex and still keep the car stable enough for the exit. Swing out slightly before braking and turning at the 50 meter board. Lift to hit the apex and power out wide to swing back to the right afterwards. Use minimal braking when approaching the final chicane at the 100 board. Stay confident with the throttle on entry and avoid taking too much curb on exit to maintain stability and finish the test. Start in second gear in S6, and stay to the right. Brake after crossing this shadow, and gently make your way to the inside. 
hug the wall with mild throttle inputs before powering out wide to lay apex the following turn. Break where the shadow changes shape and swing into the next turn. Hug the next two turns slowly and hit the next apex before entering the hairpin. After passing the apex of the turn prior, break and turn in. This time use minimal throttle inputs to maintain grip through the turn. Repeat the same thing as before, breaking here to enter the turn. For the left hand curve, turn in before reaching the crowd and lift to ensure you don't slam into the wall. Keep right for the long left hander. Break at the entrance of the turn and aim to hit the latest apex possible to break past the awkward jutted out wall on the right. Then just get back on the power and you're done. For S7, get to the right before the first turn. Aim to cut as much of it as you can and follow up with another big cut on the next one. Swing back in after the crest, lifting a little just to maintain stability. Break for the tunnel just after passing this curb. Try to keep the car on the inside line even while exiting to set up for the next section. After jumping the hill, aim for this section of the curb and break after crossing the start of it. Turn in at the curb and power out by the next apex. Get in the middle of the track to take a straighter line into the bend. Break when you reach this shadow and swing around the curve, ending on the right before the tunnel. Break at the entrance to the tunnel and gently turn in, aiming to stay close to the inside through the corner. After exiting wide, power through the tunnel and over the hill. At the 100 board, slowly turn in and break at the 60 to 70 meter mark. Try to maintain traction through here and charge up the hill. Get on the left before turning in for the next apex. Before reaching the top, brake right before crossing the crest and gently turn throughout the curve to reach the outside on exit. Swing to the right before heading downhill. Turn in slightly at the start of the striped curb and brake at the base of the hill. Keep the car stuck to the road through the turn and exit wide before heading to the chicane. Turn in when this barrier hits the edge of the screen and cut as much of the chicane as you can without slamming the wall on exit. Then, stabilize the car and complete the test. In S8, make sure you're in 6th gear before turn 1. Brake just before reaching the 100 meter board and turn in at the 50 board. Slip through the turn and power out on the apex. Afterwards, get back on the right to prepare for the next corner. Brake at this curb and turn in to just graze the inside curb. Exit on top of the curbing before finishing the curve back on the left side. For the 180 degree right-hander, turn in at the 50 board and mildly brake after the last set of arrows before the turn. Then, keep on the power throughout the turn for a smooth exit. Return to the right side before the upcoming turn. Turn in before the 50 board and brake shortly at the 25 meter mark. Exit wide and drive to the left side before the narrow S-bend. Turn in at the end of the left curb and aim for the apexes when traveling through. Careful not to max the steering on exit and get back on the left side heading up the hill. Break and turn at this gantry and stay wide on exit to keep up momentum on the following turn, avoiding the curb to maintain stability. Travel into the downhill section and get on the right side before the sharp left-hander. Break swiftly after this barrier leaves the screen and gently turn in. Break at the 50 board and turn in to hit both apexes through the turn. After exiting, power down the long straight, aiming to pass under this light to take the straightest line to the finish. Keep to the left in S9 and turn in before you reach the tree's shadows. Now stay on your right and turn in at the shadow before breaking as the tree leaves your screen. Enter deep into the long left and exit with a late apex to power out as fast as possible for the next section. Keep on your right through the bends and turn in after passing this extended section of grass. Lift to grab the apex and power through to the next turn on the left. Break once either the trees or the house reaches the edge of your screen and turn in while braking to maintain your line. Power through up the hill and into the tunnel exiting on the right. Aim for your right tires to hit the white inside line and stay flat out up the hill. Break after landing and aim to pass the cliff on the inside. If you exit too wide afterwards, swing out before the long uphill curve and lift when turning in to get the rotation you need to be flat out on exit. 
down the hill, get on your left, and brake as this white banner leaves the edge of your screen. Avoid sliding through the turn like this, and exit on the right. Enter the first left turn in the middle of the track before braking when this inside barrier disappears. Cut 90% of the second apex to maximize your forward momentum into the straight before the bridge. Keep right, this time barely missing the apex before exiting onto the bridge. Break at this shadow to enter the next corner and swing out slightly to find more angle for the car. Power out and slowly make your way left for the upcoming right turn. Break and turn just as the curb opens up and aim for both apexes through the turn. Keep outside up the hill before returning left approaching the bend. Get on the curb before lifting to swing in and cut the next turn. Then start trail braking after reaching this shadow to help glide through the final left hand turn before powering out wide and heading straight down to finish the test. For S10, aim for the apexes before entering the first right turn. Break after reaching this bush and swing in to hug the inside at a 45 degree angle. Exit right and swing back to repeat the previous technique. Repeat this one more time with a slower speed than the last turn. Then exit fast and return left. Break after passing the Exxon sign while swinging in to stay on the inside through the right hand turn. Shift to first for better traction before upshifting back into the next turn. Stay on the power until you cut the bend and break while swinging when you reach it. Keep your nose pointed towards the inside and power out till you reach the left corner on the right. Break where the track makes a slight change in direction and turn in. Avoid the apex and slide back outside for the next turn. Late apex here to approach the following turn much faster. Break on entry to swing out and on exit, swing in again and aim to keep it close on exit before heading to the next hairpin. Repeat the same technique here and exit in the middle of the track. Get to the right up the hill and break where the track shifts to the left. Try to swing and hug the apex before pushing down the hill. Enter the curve on the left to the inside and mildly break at this apex before the slope chicane. Maintain stability while cutting the chicane and start the next section. Start outside before shifting inside through the right hander. Exit strong and hit the next apex while swinging in. Break on exit and swing into the long curve ahead. Maintain grip through the turn to carry your momentum in the hilly straight section. After the jumps, break at these two lines in the dirt past the Michelin banner. Start outside in the first turn and hit a late apex to start outside again into the right hander. Point the nose inside with the power down before exiting to head up the hill. Break and turn at this Michelin banner and point the car inside to end on the left. Then, swing into the longer uphill turn, maintaining power while pointing inside to drift throughout it. Keep to the right before the tight left. Break at this apex and swing in. Power out, pointing to the next spot you need to put the car in. Break and turn at this apex to slide wide on exit and carry the drift into the following turn. After exiting, point the car between these trees. Cut all the bends before the hairpin and break after landing the jump and be sure to keep it tight on the inside. After exiting, position yourself by pointing at this spot for the next sharp turn. Break after passing the tree, but take a deep V-shaped line to power straighter and earlier for the final straight. Lift slightly for the right turn before keeping the power down all the way to the finish. In S11, turn in smoothly to cut the first two turns flat before lightly lifting in the third. Keep the power down into the straight and proceed on the right. Break in between the 50 board and this street lamp shadow. Slip through the turn to add angle and carry your momentum for the exit. Break after passing the firestone sign and turn in to cut both corners of the chicane. Break slightly at the second apex to slide out for a straighter line through the second chicane. Cut the corners again and continue down the straight on the left side to the next section. Shortly after passing the lines above, Break to cut the first bend while aiming at the inside of the next. Power out after the apex and keep right. Turn in at the end of the signs and break just before reaching the end of the curb to slip into the hairpin. Exit close to approach the next turn wider. Ease up on the throttle for more rotation before powering through into the long straight. Turn in at the 50 board and lift carefully to hit the curb. 
exit wide to still avoid the perpendicular barrier of instant death. Approach on the left, and brake in between the 100 board and the crosswalk. Slowly add an angle into the turn, and exit on the right. At this street lamp, brake in turn to suddenly swing the car into the apex of the following turn, and power out wide at the apex. Cut the next two turns of a chicane. Then, cut right on exit before swinging back in to brake deep into the long left-hander, rotating enough to double apex and be flat out through the rest of it. The 350's got some downforce here, so power out earlier and low to mid-speed turns for more rotation. Approach the first turn on the left and cut inside to break at the apex. Place yourself here before turning in and braking to steer your way out on exit. Cut back right to enter the S's. Use throttle control and soft brakes to slip through the turns here, aiming for late apexes to help you enter each of the following turns you take. And for the Dunlop curve, push early into the apex to exit wide up the hill, and gently return to the left entering the Degner curves. Break at the 50 board and turn in to try to cut the first turn. Keep wide and break at the end of the curb while aiming for the inside. Power out wide again before heading into the hairpin. Late apex the slight right to be on the right into the hairpin, and break at the big shadow here. Get on the throttle at the apex, and straighten out as early as you can to carry as much speed as possible into 200R. Try to double apex the mega turn to keep right on exit. Break at the tread line while pointing to the inside of Spoon before placing yourself wide on exit. Break on entry of the second turn of Spoon to smoothly steer into a late apex and keep your speed up before heading down the back straight. Travel through with a straight line to end on the right into 130R. Turn and lift at the 50 board to cut the turn and cross to the left. Break as this sand line leaves the screen to enter Casio Triangle, aiming to cut both corners of the chicane. Keep to the right on exit to minimize the travel distance and complete the test. At the start of S13, place yourself wide before hitting this apex heading up the hill. Stay on the inside and break at the start of this curb. Turn in after passing the curb, aiming for the inside, and accelerate to exit wide. Cut back to the right and gently enter into the turn while trail braking to keep inside. Brake again after passing the curb to graze the apex and shoot through the straight. Brake at the end of the curb and power out halfway through the turn. Get to the right up the hill and cut into the corkscrew just before the crest. Brake after reaching the top and aim to cut back inside for a double apex. Exit wide and get to the left down the straight. Break at the tread line and power out between the two corners to carry as much speed into the S's. Aim for late apexes and stay confident with the throttle through this section. Get to the left heading into the gravel section to break and turn when the track opens up here. Continue to the hairpin on the left, avoiding the cones next to the pit entry. Brake before reaching the cones, and power out halfway through the tight turn to exit with as much speed as possible as you cross the finish line. Ninety percent the throttle starting S14. Keep to the left while crossing the bridge, and brake at the steepest downhill section. Slightly drift through the turn, and continue pointing to the inside of the upcoming turn. Brake mildly to enter another drift for this turn, and keep left on exit. Break and swing into the right-hander to slide through, and slowly turn in up the hill for the left. Enter the tunnel flat out on the right, before shortly breaking at the marked spot. Turn in to hit the apex before swinging in again to slip around the bend. Break and turn halfway up the straight to narrowly miss the bridge and set up wide into the dense forest. Keep it close again on the turn after, before breaking and turning at this sunny spot for the turn after. Power out and stay on the right until the hairpin. Swing in before the barriers and break before reaching them. Shift down to first and aim for the inside up the slope turn. Exit straight while setting up wide to enter the third bridge. Lift and turn to try and grab the apex before crossing the bridge and entering the windy bank snow section. Break and turn at the base of the hill while using minimal throttle to maintain grip on the inside of the turn. Exit to the left 
and swing flat out up the right hand curve. Set up on the left again, this time breaking at this dark patch before the bush. Swing out through the turns before entering wide into the next hairpin. Brake when the track straightens out and hug the inside again with minimal throttle inputs in first gear. Place the car on the right and brake straight after passing these banners. Rotate in second to keep up the pace before exiting wide. Brake after passing the first tree shadow and swing into the left bend. Between turns, swing back inside while braking to glide around the next hairpin. Then, swing back inside after the exit and lightly brake to rotate around the oblong hairpin. Swing in while braking again, this time powering out for longer to aim for the next apex. Brake after reaching the corner and power out when you are dead set to hit the apex after. Brake halfway between turns again to make your way through the long downhill hairpin in second. Repeat this technique again for the right hand hairpin. Get back to the right before swinging in on the straighter track and braking to slow down enough to glide across the last snowy turn and power out into the finish line. Start S15 slowly entering the Dunlop curve. Exit wide after passing the 200 board and brake when the 100 board leaves your screen. Cut the chicane by placing your outside tires on the curb as you pass in third gear. Now you'll keep it tight through the S's here. On the right, break between the track intersection and the upcoming turn to steer around the curb. Aim to cut over the curb through the final turn out of the forest. Graze the grass on the left into the shoulder of the track and slightly break when the surface changes. Aim to cut over the curb, barely skimming the grass as you pass the apex, and return to the center after exiting. It's important to stay on the correct part of the track down the Mulsanne straight, as driving on the shoulders will limit your top speed quite a bit. We'll still drive over them before the chicanes, but it's important to note the speed difference anytime you drive on this track. Enter the shoulder after passing the 200 board, and brake at the 140 meter mark. Cut over the curbs as much as you can without bottoming out, and push down the Mulsanne straight once more. Again, avoid the shoulders while heading to the next chicane until you start to set up for entry. Cross into the shoulder at the 200 meter mark and brake at the 80 meter mark. Cut over the curves again without bottoming out and make your way to the infamous turn 15. Keep wide while entering around the bend and brake as you reach the curve. Use the shoulders to help you take a wider line as you cut over the curve and throttle out at the apex. Then just drive straight down to Indianapolis. Keep left before the final bend into Indy, turning in after the big shadow in front, and brake at the apex. Cut right while braking, and turn in to power out early heading into Arnage. Brake at the gravel section, and turn in to hit the apex, where you'll power out to head fast into the Porsche curves. Keep left down the straight, and watch for the 100 board. Turn in when reached, and brake when crossing over. Power out to get back on the right before the left-hander, and keep it flat out. Trail brake through the second left before aiming to take a late apex into the next right turn. If done properly, you can stay flat out through the rest of the section before heading into the final chicanes. Cut the bend and keep to the right heading into the first set of chicanes. Brake when you reach the split between the track and pit lane and turn in to glide around the curbs. Then take decent cuts over the Ford chicane to finish up the penultimate test. Lastly, start S16 on the right, and brake when you reach this darker asphalt. Turn in to exit wide at Sabine Curve, and continue down the bends. Enter wide into the downhill right while lifting, before getting to the right for Hotzenbach. Brake just before the Volkswagen Graffiti, and exit wide before swinging back to the right. Late apex your way through the S's, exiting wide on the last turn, and getting on your left for Hoheishen. Brake after passing the red graffiti, and try to get on the curb to cut the following turn. Now make your way into Quiddlebach, getting to the left of the hill. Turn and lift at the purple graffiti, before staying flat out through flute plots and into speeding parts. Turn in before the sign, and lift at the curb while keeping left on exit. Brake after passing the red graffiti, and trail brake entering Arenberg, 
and exiting wide into Foxhole. Keep a straight line down the hill before getting to the right after the compression and braking and turning at the hazard sign. Cut the inside and begin braking at the crosswalk. Push out wide before entering the Adenauer chicane and cut over the curb in the right-hander. Now you'll keep up the pace heading into Metzgesfeld. Approach the first turn on the right and trail brake on entry. Get back on the right and brake at the yellow graffiti. Exit beside the curb and exit the following turn on the left. For Callenhard, swing inside later to hit the apex and power out straight as you approach the S-Bend. Enter on the right and hug the inside of the turns. Exit left and turn in at the recessed shadows here to make sure you hit the second apex. Get back on the left at the top and turn in at this shadow entering Veer Siphon. Graze the curbs and power into the last apex at the bottom of the hill. Keep on the throttle heading to Brideshide on the right. Break at the end of the escape route and gently turn in. Now get on the left for Ex Mule and break and turn at the graffiti. Power out at the apex and squeeze down the throttle up the hill. Stay flat out through the straights until you reach Bergwerk on the left. Break after passing this shadow and turn in. Stay on the inside until you see the outside curb and power out to it. Now stay flat out all the way through Kesselschen and set up on the right for Muth curve. Break when you reach this shadow and turn it. Approach wide into the upcoming bend and exit on the left for the long right hander. Break when you reach the curb and throttle out early to take advantage of the track width. Break at this apex before carousel and hug the bank track for maximum grip. Now it's time for the fun part. Stay flat out up the hill and get to the right before the fast chicane. Break at the curb and turn in early to shear the inside curb. Safely enter the outside curb on exit and mildly break at the opening between the shadows. Keep left on exit heading into Hedgevig and keep it tight through the turn to enter Vipaman. Start trail breaking at the blue graffiti to hug the inside of the left-handers and cut the right-hander. Exit left and break after passing the curb up the hill. Return to the right before breaking at the yellow graffiti and double apex to keep left after the turn. Break and turn after leaving the gray curb and exit left again entering YouTube corner. Break after passing the white graffiti and slowly swing inside. Return right and break at the white graffiti again, powering out at the apex. Maintain a narrow line over the hill and set up to keep straight on the left going over the jump. Break after landing and hit each apex heading up the hill once again. Keep it flat out through this slippery downhill section, even cutting curbs before heading into Svalbenspons. Break before reaching the curb on the right and late apex to be on the right. Swing back in after the gray curb and trail break on entry. Throttle out on the apex before approaching wide into mini carousel. Take the bank section and continue on the left. Break and turn to survive the entrance into Galgenkopf and lift while turning at this opening to hug the inside of the turn before the mega straight. Now try to relax for 30 seconds down the Dottinger straight before approaching Tiergarten on the right after the compression. Aim for apexes approaching the chicane and break after entering the shadows. Cut the inside left turn and hug the inside of the chicane. Enter T13 on the left and break at the divide while on the curb. Finally, power out at the apex and keep it straight as you cross over the last finish line. And wow, would you look at that! You just golded every test for the S license. Congratulations! PD has now graciously awarded you with a useless car that you can try and drift around the Nürburgring, I guess. But you still get the Mercury Cougar and Pontiac Solstice to make this arguably the worst effort to reward license in the game. If you still need any of the other tests to gold, check out this playlist with all of the previous licenses.